We're going to do some basic vector operations with a wonderful free piece of software that you can run right off the web from any operating system. It's called Mathematical Visualization Toolkit. All you do is click the Start MVT on the left, and this should pop up pretty quickly. If it doesn't pop up, make sure you have pop-up blockers disabled on that particular page. And we're going to be doing some uh, vector operations. So we're going to click Applications, Vector Plotter, and that's going to bring this up. And you can see we've got 2D and we've got 3D. First, let's do some 2D stuff. It's pretty straightforward. You type in your vector down here where it says Components, and I can do the vector, say, 2, 1, and then I'll do the vector uh, 1, 2. I'll plot those. And then I click the Plot button, and you'll see my two vectors. A is the vector 2, 1 in blue, and B is the vector in green, which is the vector 1, 2. And from here I can do a whole bunch of things. I can normalize, in other words, make the length equal to 1, just by clicking that for the appropriate vector. I can do that also with vector B, or if I could do them with both if I like. I can set my scalar, I can multiply the vector by a particular scalar, like twice um, for vector 1, and maybe I want to multiply vector 2 by negative 3, so I'll plot that, and there you can see I've multiplied vector 1 by 2 and vector 3 by, I'm sorry, vector 2b by negative 3. Um, usually we keep the scalars at 1, so plot. Uh, I can also add two vectors, so there's A and B, and we've added them by the parallelogram rule, and this resulting vector, um, this brown one over here, is the vector A plus B, and I can see exactly what it is in the upper left-hand corner. It tells me that it's 3i plus 3j, and that tells me exactly what's there. And I can subtract the vectors, and you can see there's negative B, and I've just translated it so that it's at the uh, tip over here and that's the vector, and there's the sum in the upper left hand corner. I can do the dot product, and dot product visually doesn't appear because it's just a scalar, and you can see the dot product of these two is 4. Uh, I can project vector A onto vector B, in other words this is a right angle, and that is 0.8i 1.6j, and this is different from projecting vector B onto vector A, which is 1.6i plus 0.8j. So visually you should see that they are very different quantities, they're very different vectors. Um, and again we can normalize everything if we like and do all the same operations to them, and that's totally fine. And we can also plot vectors um, starting from any point, ending at any point. So if I want to do a vector from uh, one negative 2 oops, uh, to 1, 1, and then I wanted to do also like from negative 3, 0 to uh, 2, negative 1. I can plot these two vectors, and there you see vector A starts at uh, 1, negative 2, and goes to 1, 1. Really? Plot. Is that how it, oh, I've normalized them, I'm sorry. There they are. Starts at negative 2, 1, goes to 1, 1. Starts at negative 3, 0, goes to positive 2, negative 1. And then I can normalize them so that their direction is preserved, but they have length 1. And I can do all the same usual things. Add them using um, the parallelogram rule. The program automatically shifts it to the origin. I can subtract them. I can take their dot product. You'll see it's uh, negative 0.20 if they're normalized, and negative 3 if they're not normalized. I can project vector A onto vector B, and you might say, wait a minute, this projection is actually not on vector B, it's on the line that is formed by vector B. In other words, if you just took this as a straight line, this lies right where it would be. This is the projection. And then I can project vector B onto vector A, and you can again see vector A goes straight up and down, and that's where it would be. Um, and that's 2D. We can go to the 3D app, and let's plot some points over here, plot some vectors. I can plot them, and I can rotate and zoom, it's pretty nifty. You can see them in real space. And I can do all the same things that I did before. I can add them, and then I can rotate and zoom. I can subtract them, and I can see the result, and the results are always going to show up in the top left hand corner. Um, I also have the ability to zoom out if I want, 
and I can zoom in. Oops, I can zoom in if I want. And if I need to reset everything, I just click the XYZ down here. Um, I can also look at the projection of these things into the XY plane, the ZX plane, and the ZY plane if I'm so inclined. And I can still click this little button and rotate everything around. And this brings me always back home. Um, let's see, dot product of the vectors going to be given up there. And this is only in 3D, but the cross product of the vectors a cross B. Now it kind of goes way out there but you can see there's A cross B and if I normalize A and B uh, that kind of changes things up a little bit. The scales automatically change and we see the component for A cross B up in the top left. Let's bring it back to the normal length. Now Notice it doesn't have the option for B cross A, so that means you actually have to go in and manually retype A and B. You have to swap what they are. That's just the way the program works, but it's not too bad. Uh, vector projection of A onto B and vector projection of B onto A. Again, you can see that straight line that they form. Um, and that's it. You can do the same thing with the points. I can start a vector at any point I like. And then I'll just make this 1, 1, 1. Or 112, one, why not? 111. One. Plot. And there are the two vectors in space. And I can do all the things that I did before with them subtracting, adding, and so on and so on. It's a very nifty program, very helpful, very useful. Uh, I encourage you to please explore with this program, check your answers with this program, get a good feel for how uh, vectors work in two and three dimensions. Uh, it's, a, it's a very useful program for that. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.